Lions and tigers and bears are all too big to go to space. But you know what aren't? Spiders, fish, dogs, frogs, flies. <laughs> Trace here for D News, everyone. Iran sent a monkey into space this week, but they were far from the first to send animals up there. Man has often used animals to test out air and space before they go up there themselves. Back in the 1700s, the Montgolfier brothers, some hot air balloon pioneers, sent a sheep, a rooster, and a duck up in a balloon before they would send any humans. They wanted to make sure it was safe. By 1947, we'd more or less mastered air flight, but we were still looking higher. To test the radiation levels, U.S. scientists encapsulated some fruit flies into a V-2 rocket captured from Germany and sent it 80 miles up into the atmosphere, which is essentially into space. Those little insects became the very first living things to leave planet Earth. They actually came back safely and scientists were able to run their experiments and that made them a little bit bolder. In 1948, they sent up a rhesus monkey named Albert II. They put him under anesthesia and they sent him into space and he was doing great until the rocket crashed on re-entry and he died. Over the next 10 years, the US would continue to send monkeys while the Soviets were sending dogs. They preferred strays because they thought they were hardier, and in 1958, the Soviet scientists found a stray named Kudryavka, which everyone else outside of the USSR called Laika. The dog was sent up in November of 1957, and it was just fine, but there were no plans for re-entry. So when life support ran out, Laika died. The reason we were sending up these astro animals is to learn about the environment of space. Animals taught us about radiation levels, motion sickness, the effects of microgravity, and some of them even surprised us with what they could do that we couldn't. For example, in 2007, we sent up a microscopic organism called a water bear. They're really freaky looking, but it was able to survive in the vacuum of space. Cosmic radiation was just flying around out there, and they pulled it back in, and the water bear was like, whatever, dude. So Iran launched this rhesus monkey, but they're kind of far behind on the list of animals that have been to space. You would think governments would share space technology, but it's actually a pretty closely guarded secret still. So Iran is about 50 years behind us, but they do have one thing ahead of us. Their rhesus monkey, unlike Albert II, made it up and then back down just fine. Aside from a monkey, Iran has also launched two turtles, a rat, and some worms. Aside from the normal stuff like monkeys and cats and dogs and turtles and rats, we've also sent things like butterflies and bees and fish and newts. They cut their legs off to see how regeneration would work in space. Or spiders to see how they could build webs in microgravity. Or, I mean, we've got... We've got like a whole list. We've got Mexican jumping beans, which actually aren't beans. They're seed pods with larval moths in them. Or cockroaches, or snails, or oyster toadfish, whatever that is. Or a sea urchin, or gypsy moth eggs, insect eggs, brine shrimp. Look, we've sent lots of animals into space, and I still haven't even gotten to go. Well, this is not fair. So what do you think? Should we launch some more animals into space? Maybe take one to Mars with us? Let us know down in the comments which one you would take. And remember, before you decide, it's a long trip and it's not like you can just pop outside to let the dog pee on the neighbor's bushes or anything. Thanks for watching D News, everybody. I'm Trace. Have a great one. See you later.